the living God. As a result of him making that declaration, he was found guilty of blasphemy. And I hope you don't mind. I just want to talk to you for a few moments. Because a lot of us on Christmas, we don't understand the rich heritage of the Christian faith. After being found guilty of blasphemy, he had to go before a man named Pontius Pilate. And Jesus is the only figure you will read about in history that never spent any time in jail or prison. He was arrested, taken straight to court. From that court, when he lost, he was taken to an appellate court. When he lost that appeal, he was taken to another appellate court. When he lost that appeal, he was taken to another appellate court. And when he lost that final appeal, he was taken straight to the cross. Never served time in prison like most people would do because there was a special mandate on his life. That's why he came. He was born to die. Living, he loved us, but dying, he saved us. And I ask you today, are you seeking this Jesus? Are you still seeking after this one that died for you? They hung him up high, stretched him out wide. He died on that cross. And as a result of him dying, now salvation flows freely. To every man, woman, boy, and girl that will only accept him. Yes. I want to leave you with this acrostic. C-H-R-I-S-T. Christ. Christ is our counselor. Isaiah said unto us, a child is born. Unto us, a son is given. The government shall be upon his shoulder his name shall be called Wonderful Counselor. Look at someone and say, Jesus is my counselor. Not only is he my counselor that gives me advice, but he's my counselor from the perspective of being my attorney. When sin had found me guilty and I was sentenced to eternal damnation, my counselor intervened and said, free at last. Heaven is your home. I'm trying to stay calm this Christmas morning, but I feel the preacher down on the inside. He's our counselor. H. Christ is our healer. Has anyone in here ever been sick? Tylenol wouldn't help you. And Advil wouldn't help you. They put phenobarbital under your tongue and your heart bet would start beating a little faster. But Jesus stepped in. And you know he's a heart fixer now. And he's a mind regulator. Our Jesus is my redeemer. I may not be able to sing like the angels. May not be able to preach like Paul. But I can sing a song that the angels cannot sing. Oh, uh, I can't talk for some of y'all dead folk out there today, but, but I can talk for myself. I have been redeemed. Yes, Jesus is my redeemer. When I was on my way to hell, Jesus came in and redeemed me. He saved me. He salvaged me from hell. And said, you don't have to go to hell. I and the choir was singing today about Emmanuel. And you saw on the screen they had the Greek rendering of this word Emmanuel. But in the Hebrew, and the Hebrew rendering of Emmanuel is actually in the Bible twice as many times as the Greek rendering. And so I just wanted to say this before some smart aleck after service was going to tell me that I misspelled Emmanuel. But I, he is my Emmanuel. He's God with us. I said, God with us. God with us. 
When you read the book of John chapter 1, it says, In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Then you skip down to verse 14, it says, And that Word was made flesh, and that Word which is God dwelled among us. How many of you are glad to know that God is with us? They asked Jesus in the Bible, show us the Father. And he said, have I been with you this long and you don't even know who I am? He said, when you've seen me, you've already seen the Father. Because Jesus is the fulfillment of the Godhead bodily. We have a group out there that calls themselves Jehovah's Witnesses. And God bless them and any other group that's trying to spread some great news. Amen. I don't necessarily agree with their message, but thank God they have the biblical concept down. Going home to home, two by two. But Jesus was the only one that was Jehovah's Witness. According to the scripture, we can't be Jehovah's Witness. Because we haven't seen that God, the Father, at any time. But the only manifestation of God that we've had an encounter with is Jesus Christ through the Holy Ghost. So what Jesus taught us was when we receive the Holy Ghost, he 